Hey guys, we're back for another video. Um, this time we're gonna see about killing some aphids. I mean, they're freaking everywhere. Aphids all over the place. Uh, you know, we've, we've got to kill these things. Um, they're over in a neighbor's yard where we, uh, we take care of her lawn, uh, mow it and that kind of thing. Um, so uh, when I mow the grass, it's like I'm, I'm covered with uh, with bugs, it's it's gross. It's it doesn't feel good. Uh, it's just all bad. So stay tuned, um, and we'll get through this and show you how. So guys, like I was saying, um, we're over to the neighbor's yard. I, I mow her grass for her and, and kind of keep up on it. The yard, the grass is kind of a a salad bar. I would say it's a turf type tall fescue, but I mean there's clover and some poa in there and uh, clover and all kinds of fun stuff. Crabgrass. So um, probably going to do some sort of a renovation on this yard uh, pretty soon. But um, you know, maybe look for some news uh, coming on that soon. So the bug treatment that I'm going to put down here is something that I put down in our yard every five weeks. Um, works well, keeps the bugs away. Um, you know, keeps things nice. Like I said, this yard, um, you mow the grass and it's like you're getting destroyed. So let me see if I can f like wake up some of these critters and, and show you what they look like. Just a second. So I don't know if you can see them here or not, but obviously you can see the good crop of clover and the mushroom farm going on there. But um, you can see them maybe on the video I don't know how if that shows them or not but they just like are just jumping all over the place um, so we're gonna put down this treatment um, and it should do the trick here so we'll we'll see bear advance guys this is the, the killer stuff um, read the instructions in the back if you want to if not throw her down um, but it kills all kinds of stuff ants fleas ticks um, you know, all kinds of bugs, but cinch bugs, I don't even know what a cinch bug is, but uh, grubs, um, aphids, in this case, you know, we're, we're going to do them for aphids uh, three months, as it says. In our yard, what I try to do is I try to put it down every six to eight weeks or so, um, and it, you know, does a trick. I don't, I never see any bugs in, in our yard, so uh, hopefully this will uh, take care of the infestation that we're seeing, um, so we'll see. Um, let me show you the spreader. One second. So I've got the Earthway 2600A Plus that I use. Um, shot of it. Um, works good. The the settings on this one, you know, and this is this is going to be different for for everything. But the settings that I use is, is I put it like on an 11 or a 12. But you know, like I said, all the spreader is going to be different on the, on the settings that you may use. But I'll put a link below to, to this product and, and to my spreader if you want to look at that. Um, if you guys are wondering, Magnolia Seed and Supply picked this up in Waco. Um, Chip and Joe, you guys know who that is? Um, awesome people, Christians, we love them. Man. Um, you know, we, uh, we put this down. Um, you know, at whatever setting, because you know, whatever spreader you're using, it's going to be a whole different uh, setup. But the instructions are on the back. It has some examples um, where you can uh, do the calculation to come up with what uh, what you uh, what you need to put your particular uh, spreader on. So, um, why don't we put this in the hopper and put it down? Um, you know, uh, a few uh, days. Uh, you can't water in, you don't have to. Um, so, easy stuff. 
So some things to look for coming up on the channel is uh, we're going to be trimming up some white pine trees that you may want to check out. That should be lots of fun. See if we can cut our arm off or something like that. Um, what's next? The, uh, we're going to be aerating. Um, we're going to be aerating this lawn and uh, our lawn. So that's going to be coming up on the channel. Um, really how to do that and the importance of it. Uh, what the benefits are. Um, we're also going to be putting down some pre-emergent on our We're not going to oversee this year in our yard just because we have a little bit of POA in our yard. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what POA is, how to identify it, and um, you know, talk about the pre-emergent that we're putting down that's going to hopefully prevent it from coming back again next year. So again, support you guys are giving me. I know that these are some just some simple tips and tricks, um, but it's fun to document them along the way on what we're doing and uh, we're helping out neighbor yard and, and that kind of stuff. Um, so again, tell me if you'd be interested in uh, seeing us do a lawn renovation um, on this lawn. You know, comment comment below. Um, also look below for for links of the stuff that we use. Um, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, really appreciate all the support that you guys are getting. Um, like the like the uh, the video. Give us some comments, give us some feedback, uh, positive or negative, you know, relatively new to this stuff. So I, I'd love to have uh, some feedback from some of y'all that has been uh, been um, on YouTube for a while. Um, and, you know, what the what you guys have experienced with uh, with your yards um, or comments on, on what you maybe would like to see us uh, put on the channel in the future. Please be sure to, to subscribe. If you use the links below, um, you know, you're, you're helping us out with a little bit of kickback on Amazon. I think it's like probably half cents on, on the $100 or something like that. But, um, you know, everything helps. And we really appreciate you guys. Um, check back in a few days for another video. Thanks a lot.